and welcome to the Financial Goddess channel. I'm Margaret Miller-Knopic, your finance and business expert. In today's business lesson, we are going to talk about focusing on your bottom line. So your bottom line is your net profit. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with it or just familiar with the phrase bottom line, effectively in any business that you're running, you'll have your sales or your revenue, then you will have your cost of goods sold, which will result in gross profit margins. Then you will have all the operating costs in relation um, to running your business, and they will vary from industry and the business size. And then you'll have your net profits, your proverbial bottom line. So my business lesson for you today is to make sure that you focus on the bottom line as that is the number one most important metric. If you watched my other business lesson, you would have seen the one where I'm talking about different business metrics specific for your business and how you need to know the numbers. This one, your bottom line, your net profit is the number one metric and regardless of the industry you're in, the size of your business or what is it that is your financial or business goal, that is the number one and the most important number that you need to pay attention to both short term and long term. Now let me explain to you why. Time after time, I have clients of substantial amount of money coming through, struggling to take their business to the next level and struggling to actually see the results from their business. And I'm not talking about small clients, I'm talking about multi-million dollar businesses. It's not uncommon for my clients to have a turnover of about a million, have some clients that have a turnover of 25, 30 million a year, and these guys are struggling with actually turning a profit. They focused so long on the top number, What's my sales turnover? What's my revenue? What's my revenue? What's my, what's my sales turnover? They forgot to pay attention to the bottom number. Now, um, as with any business, as your business grow, your operating expenses and your cost of goods sold will also increase. There is a natural curve, right? The more you have to produce in volume of anything, the more time and effort and resources it takes to do that. But you have some fixed costs and you have some variable costs. For example, rent. Rent will be a fixed cost. You uh, rent out an office space, you pay a monthly fee, you pay per square meter, as usually is with commercial properties. That cost will be the same. Whether your um, sales revenue is zero dollars, whether it's 500,000 million or 5 million, you will pay exactly the same amount of money for rent each month. Now, let's say your transaction fees, like bank fees, uh, PayPal, Stripe, Dockheartless, and all these other um, electronic payment methods that exist, maybe you have a point of sale, etc. With some of them, there is a fixed monthly fee, especially with your FPOS terminals. But the majority of them charge you a percentage or sometimes a fixed figure based on the transaction value. So those kind of numbers, the higher your sales and the higher your revenue, the higher the number, right? With a team, if you have sales team and you structure their wages that part of it is commission based and maybe you have some bonus structure, then effectively your cost of wages will not be fixed because as the sales volume increase, so does the payments in commissions. So whilst it's natural to have this trajectory that as your business grows and becomes more successful, your overall operating costs will also increase, that's only true to a certain point. At the end of the day, the most important number is the bottom number. And the reason being is, let me give you two examples. We'll have a, a client X and a client Y. Two different businesses, um, let's say both have been in business for about five years. Now, client X is 
not very big in size. Client X is only having a turnover of about 300,000 a year. And Client X is very good. They have taken on board everything that I have taught them through business coaching. They make sure that all the data goes accurate. They look at their monthly reports. They look on their um, the daily dashboards within the system. They make their decisions. They consult me as needed to help to um, determine the next course of action for their business. Client X is making $50,000 a year in profits, net profits after all expenses paid. Client X then has that $50,000 of profit to reinvest it in business growth, to purchase more equipment, or what I often uh, recommend is using at least a portion of that money to uh, invest it in assets that would give you a long-term return on investment and generate some passive income. On that completely different topic, um, if you want me to run one of those, just please comment below and I will put out a YouTube video on that if you want to learn more. On the other hand, I have Client Y. Client Y on paper seems to be extremely successful. Client Y has a business with turnover of 25 million and employs over 80 people. Client Y, again, has been in business for five years, experienced a great success. But they're losing sleep at night because every time they have to do their monthly payroll, oftentimes there's not enough money in the bank account and they're continuously stressed out and they don't see um, an opportunity for them to improve their lives. They don't understand it. On paper, they make 25 million a year. They have a big team of people and they're losing sleep because there is anxiety and uncertainty surrounding whether they do have enough money to meet their payroll obligations. Furthermore, we look at their profit and loss and they have gone for, from having small profit margins of about 7% to in recent times going into negative and having to draw funds from drawing a second mortgage on their house to continue to top up the demand of the business so it doesn't go belly up. Now, if you don't know what numbers to look at, the first client or 25 million turnover a year might seem like more successful and in your head you envisage them having a much better lifestyle. Whereas in fact, those guys are struggling to put foot on the table and they are struggling with their second mortgage and losing sleep just to stay afloat. The second client that has only 350,000 turnover has $50,000 a year in profit. They're laughing all the way to the bank. They're happy, they're comfortable. That's why the bottom line and the net profit margin is so much more important. Because what you want to make sure is that your business is profitable. At the end of the day, the reason you are in business is to make money. And the best way to see if you're making money is to see how profitable your business is. Because those profits is something that has a cumulative effect in terms of your net worth and your future financial security. And that's another mistake on which I will touch on my next lesson for you in terms of what you should do with those business profits. Um, but that's for another time, so don't forget to focus on your bottom line. That's your number one metric that you need to look at, which is your net profit margins. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe at the bottom, and I'll see you real soon.